coming out here to try to like call nobody out, make some like big, you know, commotion. Listen, I fight, I'm a fighter. I'm, I'm a pure fighter. I've been fighting all my life. And and if the best is out there, put me in there with the best to see how good I'm and down for the challenge. Congratulations. Do you think at this point you're now the odds, these kind of fights, you know, it wasn't really like a you should have gone out where you are. This guy, I'm not taking nothing away from Julie Will. He was a great fighter. Uh, I trained my ass off for this fight, and he did too. Right. And I can tell. You know, I just had to make adjustments, and the adjustments came early, and that's what the water fight came into. Right. Yes, I mean, do you think though that you know us fighters have to put you on a different level now? Like, like you belong in the, you know, that mega fights are coming here at some point. Yeah. I, I feel like, you know, I'm up there with those guys that can bang and those guys that can punch in, and I'm going to be around this sport as long as I choose to be. You know, like I said, I'm, I'm not I'm not into trying to make someone out to what they're not. I, I'm, I'm a fighter. You know, another, another big fight in your division coming up is uh, Miguel Cotto and um, Kirkland in your, your home state. Are you going to check that fight out? I'm sure you'd want to stay for a Cotto fight if he wins. I would love to stay for a Cotto fight. You know, I would love to be. Cotto is one of the best in the world. Mm -hmm. and, and the thing is, that's all I want is the best in the world. And I want to become the best in the world. And the only way I can become the best in the world is fight the best in the world. I just fought an undefeated fighter. Uh, I would go home and I'm going to check out everybody. I'm going to do my homework. I'm going to continue to train. And whoever is still at the top, that's who I want. Is the power jab something you've been working on? Or were you surprised to knock him down with that? Um, I've had um, a couple consecutive fights with the jab. So, I mean, I'll let, let you all figure that out. What did you think of Google calling you out at the press conference? You need a fight. You need money. I mean, uh, I, I, don't, I don't entertain that. You know, like I said, even Julian Williams called me out, right? You know, if he, if Boo Boo goes to the top, I don't even know what he's ranked or anything about him. So, you know, like I said, my team does all that. And with, if he's a big fight, I'll get that big fight. But I'm kind of off of everybody saying that I'm not what I am, and I am what I am. So, I'm going to just continue to train my, my tail off and get in the gym. How did you become friends with Chris Brown? He stole the show outside of the ring. I don't know if you even saw that. Um, me and Chris Brown have a good collaboration going over OBA Sports and... We, we, um, you know, we have no cool. business that way. Yeah. Well, why is it that you think, guys, I always kind of interrupt your, your celebration, man. Hadley went in the ring, <laughs> was here at the, the press conference. Why, why is it, I feel like you're getting picked on when that happens. When you Hadley get was in the victory. wrong fight. Yeah, you see, um, they pick on me and they talk, they talk a lot of crap to me until I, um, Lines only. Are you surprised that Trout was so much tougher as well as in the ring, at least in terms of results? No, Trout was a veteran. He showed his skills. Uh, Trout made adjustments. Um, we didn't know when adjustments would come, but I mean, Trout was a great fighter. He beat hella good fighters. I mean, you can't take nothing away from Trout. You know, he even gave Canelo a hard run. You know, I mean, he's a great fighter. Like, so I prepared myself well, and, and that's what I do. That, that y'all don't see, that I really prepare myself.